this is amazing. Now we are going to see if Devin is capable of running an SEO audit. So what is SEO? It's the process of optimizing the website for search engines so that search engines can rank websites higher. So SEO audits generally be used to optimize a website to push the site higher up on Google. So now we are going to see if Devin can do that. So this is the task which I'm going to give Devin. First, I'm going to provide my website mer.vin, then ask Devin to crawl the whole site, extract SEO information, such as the area the website need to be improved, and finally to provide a detailed SEO audit. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Devin's capability in regards to SEO audit. SEO analysis without AI agents, it's going to take a long time. We need to use multiple tools to extract all the relevant information. And finally, doing an analysis is complex. So how AI agentic systems such as Devin is going to simplify this process? So this is the question which I asked Devin. Conduct a deep crawl of your website, mer.vin, ensuring no pages are omitted. Extract only the essential SEO related fields. Includes title and meta description, headings and structure, keywords analysis, internal and external links, mobile responsiveness, old text for images, SEO report compilation. So this is the question which I asked around midnight. So how long did it take and did it give the report? Before going into that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the, now the SEO analysis starts and here is the response from Devin. Got it. I'll start with the deep crawl of the site to gather SEO related data, such as the titles, meta description, headlines, keywords. Then I'll compile everything into detailed SEO report with the recommendations for improvements. And these are the packages installing Scrapey to scrape the content. Now let's see the workspace. What did it do? First step, it went into a planner and listed all the steps that need to be done, such as installing the required package for web scraping, write a Python script to automate the crawling, scraping the website, targeting SEO related fields, review and validate the scraped data, analyze the data to assess SEO optimization, compile the findings into a comprehensive SEO report with visualization, provide recommendation and finally deliver the report. Now it went on installing the scrapey package as you can see here. It wrote the code in the editor. I'm going to open the editor now so you can see the code and it keeps on adding more code. Then it starts running the code as you can see here. There's one more thing I want to show you where you can see the list of commands executed by Devin. That is the command history and the duration it took to run each of the commands. You can see that it's crawling through the list of pages as you can see here, going through the category pages. Then it's taking the individual pages. For each, it's checking if there are any keywords, meta description, mobile responsiveness, the title of the page. It gets the list of external links. It took a while to go through all these pages and get all the relevant information as you can see here. And you can see the list of files created such as visualizing SEO issues, detailed SEO issues, page speed analysis. It did ask me for page speed API key, but I didn't provide. So it keep on continuing without the API key. So in the scrapey tool, you can see the list of information gathered. Here's the scrapey code. You can see it analyzed the page elements using XPath, it's trying to extract the data. So with this template, it extracted content from every single page. Finally, there's a folder called full outputs where you can see all the saved content there, which contains information about every single page. One thing it did, which I didn't ask, which is creating a user interface, visualization, app.js, main content.js. For some reason, Devin is always referring to React application and Chakra UI. Now everything got completed. Even on the left hand side, you can see all the steps which it took to complete the task. And here is the final response. The SEO report for Mervin has successfully compiled, is available through the deployed web application. You can access the report at the following URL. So I'm going to open that URL and here is the report. SEO analysis report below is a visualization of the SEO issues found during the analysis. Description issues, more than 4,000. Keyword issues, more than 4,000. Old text issues for images, more than 4,000. And here are the recommendations to improve. Ensure each page has a unique, concise meta description. Keyword issues, perform keyword research to identify primary and secondary keywords. 
for each page. All text issues provide descriptive all text for all images reflecting the image content. This is just very, very basic, but it created a user interface using React. I would say this is just the beginning. If we could provide much more detailed prompt and once these large language models evolve further, this is going to be super useful. But for now, it's just very basic, but we are going in the right direction. And final note, we started at nearly 12 midnight and the task got completed at 4 a.m. So it took a long time. That's one of the things the Devon team need to focus on to increase the speed of execution because I had to turn it on at midnight and come back in the morning to see the results. I believe we have an exciting future. Even Devika and Open Devon is able to do all these things. Just a note. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.